Hello everybody, and welcome to a Minecraft Vaults tutorial about getting your knight and make it useful to power your uh, uh, fusion, or fission or fusion, I don't remember what it was, uh, reactors, and also how to find it. This is the version that's, uh, that is news for a moment, the 1.1.4 version of Vaults, and I'm gonna after I show you where to find it, I'm also gonna show you what machines you need to make it uh, useful, and then on. Let's get on to it. The first thing you do is it uh, in in 1.1.4. It's not in Extreme Hills. It's on Tiga, but you can see uh, bel below. Um, Below the coordinates, you can see north, east, south, and west, and below that, Tiga. That's uh, that. That is the region or the biome you need to be in to find yourself uh, uranium. The uh, oh, this fast. Uranium is usually found on the height. That is 20 or below. So, as I said, I'm gonna walk through everything. Yeah, and by the way, you need a bio or you need a hazmat suit to pick up the, the urinite, because if not, you'll get radioactive radioactivity on yourself. And there we are. The first urinite is found. This time on the beach, right beside of the Tiga. Uh, ah, what's it called again? Biome. I'm gonna just do a quick little search around there and see if I can find a little bit more. About it. Would be nice having someone, not going back with like one. No, nothing here. Well, first of all, I can pick up your knight now. Because if I now take off my hazmat suit, it should radiate. No. Well, it, it's supposed to do it, make it radioactive. Now that I'm holding it in my inventory here. Your knight. Okay, so we have some your knight here. Well, later on, you need uh, anyway the hazmat suit. If you don't need it right now, you're gonna need it. Before we head up, I have to try to find a little bit more. And here we go. Even more. Ooh, lava. Ah, now I see a leaf, uh, but I'm leaving that biome. Just gonna turn around and go back into the ravine that I saw we saw here for some time ago. Let's see if we can find a bit more maybe. I think it was that within one one whole chunk it, it should be four uranite, I think it was. Up to four uranite in each chunk. There's more your knights. So this is definitely the place to find it and even more. This is definitely the place to find your knight now in the 1.1.4 update. And anything more here maybe? Oh, two more. Up there. There 
actually on layer 20. Mm, how much do we have? We have six Uranites. We'll get just one more and then we head up again. Uh, duh, duh, duh. He is radi ra yes radiation. That means he cannot be far away. <laughs> this sword is amazing. Oh, and where do we? Up. Ah, look at this! More uranite. And a bit more. Okay, that that should do it. Should be more than enough for now. Welcome back. Now that we got our ur uranite, none of them, or uran uraniite, yeah, something like that, uh, we're gonna build machines that's necessary. The first one you will need, well, yeah, because I would distant. The first one you will need is the centrifuge. Uh, really easy. You need advanced circuits, four bronze in the corners, two steel plates, and two mortars. To get the advanced circuits, you need two basic circuits, uh, a diamond and uh, six, three reds on, uh, on the top and three reds on, on the bottom. And the basic circuit is like branch plates, uh, four reds on in um, in middle, top, right, left and down, and then fill the rest with copper cables. Then I'll get a centrifuge. A centrifuge is the first machine that you will need. Uh, oh, sorry, that was wrong. Uh, it is the last machine that's going to be used. But you need centrifuge. You need two of the centrifuge to make the chemical extractor. And for the chemical extractor, you'll need f four bronze, one in each corner, two steel plates, one elite circuit, and the two ex two. Uh, Centrifuge. To make the elite circuits, then you need again two advanced circuits as made by diamond and basic circuit and redstone. And um, then when you have the two uh, advanced circuits, you take one left, one right, a lapis lazuli block in the middle, and fill the rest in with gold igni ignets. In ignis. Then you'll get. Then I'll get the chemical extractor. Now, the chemical extractor, that's the first machine that's going to be used. And, um, yeah, the fir first thing you need, and now I forgot to put this on. Wait a second. You need, a water s you need some water cells to put in, in here. And as you can see, the chemical extractor is now starting to work. Spinning around, some nice anima animation right there. And then the nuclear boiler. Ex really simple recipe. The only thing you need is two furnaces left and right, a bucket, an empty bucket in the middle, a motor on the bottom center, and then on the corners you need four steel plates. Then you get the nuclear boiler. From the chemical extractor, you will get yellow cake. You can get, um, I think it's from two to four yellow cake for each. But if you put the nuclear boiler right beside of the centrifuge, then it will happen something pretty cool. Oh, wait, wait a second. Uh, yeah, need some water cells. And then the yellow cake in here. It'll produce uranium hexafluoride that goes straight into the centrifuge. And make the dumb uranium that we need. 
as you as you just saw there, some uranium hexafluoride got in there. Then straight into the centrifuge, and this has, I think, there's a timer on nearly a thousand seconds before one one ur uranium is completed. It takes a long time. Well, that's it for now. Now I'll see you when everything is done here. Finally, after a long while, and three times the centrifuge, uh, centrifuge has been done. Two times I got the breathing uranium, and one time I got the enriched uranium. To make actually something out of the uranium, the breathing uranium is, I think it is useless. But, oh. Um, yeah, that's true. Oh, 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 away with that. Yeah, when you hold too much uranium, as you can see, the hazmat suit is dropping drastically. So I'm, I'm just quickly gonna give. So it it will take a lot actually. Many has hazmat suits will be used when you are dealing with uranium. As you can see, it's almost depleted. Depleted. So I'm gonna show. The one thing you can use this for uranium to make things little fuel rod is used to power up your fusion reactor. I think it was. I think it was a fusion reactor. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial of how to get your uranite, make it into uranium and uh, then put it into a fuel rod and also the tutorial about the machines that you need and then nothing else to say then thanks for watching hope you enjoyed please subscribe and like for more and leave a leave a comment in li leave a comment to tell me how, how you, if you think that my tutorial was helpful or not thanks for watching bye